Okay, great. Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to uh, Career Cafe today. I hope all of you are doing really well and staying home and uh, staying safe. So today we have uh, Mr. Sander with us uh, and he has been connected with Ingenious Spaces for a long time now. So welcome Sander, welcome to the Career Cafe session. He's basically a guru or a pundit in global leadership and virtual teamwork. And, you know, Sander is a frequent speaker at conferences worldwide. Besides being dean of HIU International Business School, China, and uh, he's also the leading global fact tank research at uh, Amsterdam University. And a winning professor Islamabad in many more countries. You know, uh, authored some 80 books in the field of international communication and global leadership and is editor-in-chief of Romania's EBS magazine as well, uh, China's Belt Road magazine. He will be talking today, so the topic for the today will be showcasing and structuring uh, your employability and he will be informing you more about employability skills and, you know, how you're supposed to use them and what's the relevance of them. So welcome, Sanders. Welcome to the Career Cafe session. Over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good to be with you. Good afternoon there. Good morning here. Um, yeah, I uh, will um, uh, maybe share my screen, I think. Um, I prepared a PowerPoint yes, presentation. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I will with a few small video clips in it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as much as I would like to share my face with you, I, I, uh, I will do it a few times in the PowerPoint. Um, yeah. There you go. Um, for Ingenious Faces, uh, I've been working um, with uh, Apoor and Fiducia for several years now. Really like their, their approach. Uh, I think it's a wonderful initiative, the speed yeah. with which they also did uh, the global uh, virtual uh, apprenticeship, uh, amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to join. Uh, my field, my specialism is, uh, is uh, more the international communication, hence the, the many books, some of them really boring, but some of them also really nice. Um, so I hope to be back with you uh, in another webinar to explain more about, uh, let's say, the, the more intercultural side of, uh, of uh, your professional life. Uh, but today I would like to zoom in more on employability and i wrote it with two capitals uh, because uh, yeah often it's talked about the employee part of employability but my uh, focus today is a bit more the ability of employability uh, and that i would like to share with you um my name is uh, is a hard one um Rochelle, i don't know if you want to try <laughs> my family name the pronunciation uh, i'll help yeah. you a bit. Uh, oops. okay is it yeah Okay. <laughs> it's a tough yeah. one. Um, is it here you is go. It Sanders it's, Strovers? Yeah. Uh, very good, Am very good. Um, but uh, my, my mother will pronounce it as Schroevers, and I work for the Hoge School, <laughs> and we really think that this is a beautiful language. Um, it's, uh, it's called a fricative G. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah. yeah. Sometimes when I'm abroad, people ask me, are you yeah. all right? Uh, and then uh -huh. I'm just saying, well, actually, that was my name. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, language is a, is a charming yeah. thing, but it can also be your, your handicap, as in my case. Um, I, I work across the world a lot. Um, really enjoyed being in India, actually. Um, I worked uh, uh, many times in Pune, in Mumbai, in Kolkata. Uh, visited also Delhi, uh, but that was a bit shorter. But uh, yeah, I love it. I, I really love your country. Um, these are my buddies when the time when my mm -hmm. hair was a bit shorter. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I enjoy being there. I'm, I'm, I also believe in the, the power of South Asia. It's uh, one fifth of the world population. So there is room for growth if we look in GDP and other areas. And that's what I think is fascinating uh, about India. It's going so fast and you are so big. For me, it's, it's incomprehensible. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an honor to, to work with you. Um, and uh, it's also an honor for you to start uh, in, in the working arena. Now we're all preparing for campus placements, I understood, and there's all these step-by-step -step guides and they're wonderful, but according to CMEIE, uh, more than 30 million um, so-called competitors are with you as of February, 2020. That's a lot. 
Um, so, so it is a battle also, and, and you know that better than anybody else. Um, if I if I click online, um, I, I must say it's it's fairly developed in India. Uh, to be honest, uh, I think we we're not so used to this kind of placements. Uh, the way you have it organized in India is uh, it's pretty elaborate, I should say, and, and it's full. So instead of focusing on repeating what you already clicked on a, fa a few hundred times the last few weeks, um, I, I would like to move away from that. So I'm not going to go for these um, uh, because I think also uh, often uh, all these, these, these uh, tips and advices and, and top five this and five tips there, uh, they're based on the, the green boxes, how things were. Um, but it's also really interesting to talk about how things are. And I think employability is, is the mirror image of the middle one and, and how things work. Uh, and that's a very different one. And those are the employability skills we often talk about, they often write about, but there's not always a clear image like what it is and where it's going particularly. Um, so they asked HR professionals worldwide, um, and they ask, well, what do you think of graduates, people, you know, getting into to, uh, to the marketplace? Uh, knowledge at 72%, but the skills and the, 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 the interpersonal skills, the hands-on skills, it's barely enough. It's, it's 50%, 62%. These are really bad marks. Uh, um, and I think if you have good HR that have been, you know, reading all the, the most recent uh, reports and follow all the trends, they're interested in the, in the letter two and not so much in the knowledge because if you have your, your degree, you're there. Uh, most of your MBA students, you, you know, you've heard all the newest information, probably newer than the people working there. So there you're sharp and good, but how are your skills? Uh, and that is actually what people will be testing you as well. Again, if they're good, if they're not old school, um, because that's the difference, so, oops, sorry, like how things were and how things are. So they asked recruiters the same the same uh, research it's about one and a half year ago it's in i think 42 countries it's been uh, with a large uh, a large number of uh, respondents uh, qualified respondents what they what they don't really care about is theoretical knowledge uh, what they don't care so much about is experience abroad which really surprised me um, and what they don't care about is the extracurricular uh, curricular activities during your studies because that's on all the lists and what they do check is your social skills and your communication. Uh, in fact, that is becoming more and more important. They check if you're a good team player, um, if, if, you, if you know how to take ownership and, and go for results. Uh, your adaptability to the working environment and your positive attitude. And those were for me, uh, I think, okay, really, that's what it's about. So it, it, it is a little bit different from most of the guidebooks and the top five tips. And I would like to warn you for that. Um, so in this talk, uh, I would like to take a nice walk on strategy lane. Um, if you drive a car, I don't know if you all have the driver's license and oops, it moves, um, it's supposed to stay here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm interested in the road ahead and, and often when, when you are thinking of the future, you look in the back mirror, you get advice from Papa and Mama and, and old people like me, uh, but old people talk from the back mirror the, the way things were but it's what it's what it is going to be maybe which is the most interesting because you're starters you're at the beginning of a new career so the road ahead is much more important than what's behind us and if you are judging on, on what's in the back mirror if you're driving a car and you're driving that with the back mirror and you're kind of predicting the curve in the road you're gonna you know crash you're gonna create a lot of traffic accidents uh, and and you're a silly person now, if it's your career, why would you then use the back mirror, you know, look ahead? So I want to talk about what's ahead of us. And that involves the fourth industrial revolution, but also COVID-19, Corona, low touch economy is a reality. And, and my feeling is, and that's also the reports we are seeing, is that a lot of it is here to stay actually. And I, I'm bored to death with this webcam. <laughs> I'd much rather be in Delhi now. Uh, I miss my airplanes. I miss my nice five-star hotels with all the brilliant service where is it i'm on the webcam i'm making my own coffees yeah. what a what a what a what a dreadful life and i miss the energy of you as an audience um and and there's no difference if it's a thousand people or or, or 50 
it's the webcam uh, and you know when and we have like festive launches and then the, the it's supposed to you know represent a party and then you, you you click off the red you click on the red button and it's gone and you're back in your tiny little room with the video light and i'm like ah what happened to the world i think a lot of it will stay uh, that's the sad part uh, the advantage is that now i have an audience in india that probably in five months ago it wouldn't have been there this easily and with such a high acceptance grade so positive and negative it's a reality so um, i'm, I'm going to go for the above i'm not so much going to talk about placement readiness or other things because that's all uh, pretty good uh, and your university has all the programs so i'm going to take you more in the strategy of things uh, because i think that's most important if you're going to make choices uh, you need to think of the next five to 50 years. It's starting. So um, why employability? Well, we have uh, some uh, some scores, although I should say uh, I'm impressed with the level of, of uh, employability, the, 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 the skills in India. I don't know if all universities have the same level, but what I see online, it's pretty good, actually. You are uh, certainly not uh, lacking behind. I think in some fields you're... Uh, I also work in China, there it's a disaster. Uh, and I really love China, I love their food. Uh, no complaints, I, I'm not here to complain. But the, the way, um, you know, what I see with the, the good universities uh, in, in India, you seem to have embraced uh, the, the World Economic Forum and what they're saying. Good job, uh, this is uh, the way to the future. So, yeah. so that's there, but still. Because uh, the, the figures I have here also include India, there's quite a, a lot of respondents. 79% um, of graduates need help in finding employment. 87% of, uh, of graduates, um, they, one sec, it's tiny letters. Uh, they want more career advice from the university. Nine out of 10 uh, want to stay in touch with fellow school. That's not that. Um, but, but half of the graduates feel ill-prepared for the world of work. One third feel completely lost in their career path. These are really bad figures. And, and this is what you guys at the moment are feeling. Uh, yeah, we need we need to talk about employ uh, employability now. Um, then a, a quick definition. So it's the development of a set of knowledge and skills and, and personality characteristics that help you to find the job, but more important to be successful at it. And this is of course what recruiters want, what 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 the companies want, the, or the professional organizations. And that's different. You're just getting in but they're interested on, on your success rate once you're there. Now, what we see is the abilities of, again, positive attitude. Can you manage yourself or do you need papa or mama or a lecturer to say, now you do have to do your homework, uh, team working skills. More and more, this includes also the virtual uh, global team working skills. There are a lot of problems with that. Uh, India is the outsourcing champion of the world uh, or Olympic champion, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we also know that more than 45 percent is actually failing in the projects they lose a lot of uh, of good money um so that has to do with that problem solving skills critical thinking you know the drill ict skills uh, and your ability to keep on learning because that's um education education permanent we will use the french terminology for it uh, permanent education lifelong learning that is what actually you should really as a skill you should enhance and embrace because micro learning is going to be part of your life just like having a cappuccino and crosswords in the future uh, it's going to be part of your you know your inter eternal uh, upskilling because there will be much more flexibility that's what they predict um, so i told you i want to not so much focus on employee but more on the ability and the strategy of employability as well the, so the long term which is important i think if you're steering the wheel um, now, universities help you shape your ideal pathway and they'll tell you how to make the perfect CV, how to do the, the job interview and all the blah, blah. And it's important. It's an element of it. Um, um, and, and there are elements of, of the time you should invest to it. But I would say, don't be blinded by that because that's not enough. Um, market data, uh, check your stuff. Uh, that's all the, the logical ABCs. But academic qualifications are not enough. Uh, employers want evidence of your skills. Um, and yeah, now uh, also India being such a large country, you more and more will work with video. Now, uh, I, I can share with you later some 
I have a tip sheet on, on how to do it. I mean, I see a lot of people that do it with a window behind them. That, that is not clever. Uh, sound is more important than video. There's all these uh, things. Practice, practice until you, until you drop. Uh, but there's plenty of tip sheets on that online. But I would take it serious how you are presenting yourself. But also, are you a person that you would like to work with? That, that is what I would check. And also, I would check your grades, the speed. Um, as I told you, uh, this is from last year, the India Skills Report. You're doing actually a pretty good job in, uh, in the big country in South Asia. Uh, so if we look at these percentages, it's not bad at all. It's better than uh, most European countries, certainly better than the Far East. Uh, I also work a lot in Korea, South Korea, that is. Um, or actually, you should say Republic of Korea. Uh, uh, and, and India is doing pretty good. And I'm jealous of the English you use. You have such a beautiful, verbose kind of Victorian English. The, the, the emails are copied because English is not my, it's for me, is a second language. It's not my native language. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of steal when I see nice phrases. And to be honest, the biggest amount of stealing is from Indian or Pakistani emails. I think, ah, oh, this is such a nice phrase. And I steal, I steal from you. <laughs> <laughs> I steal from ingenious faces. I think, ah, oh, this is a nice word, you know. You have that skill. Um, you should capitalize on that, I would say. Um, this is uh, from my youth. Uh, when I was your age and I had a student job, I worked for a rich farmer somewhere in the east of my little country. And I had to be the driver. And, and uh, this chap, he, he had one of the first, this was the first digital phone, the first um, uh, cell phones or mobile phones or car phones. And this, this monster was weighing seven kilos. And whenever he wanted to, you know, have a lunch in a restaurant, uh, he wanted to show off. So I was the slave slapping that dreadful thing with a battery of kilos. And I had to, and then of course the, the his, his grand finale was in the restaurant making a phone call said, can you talk a little bit louder? I'm on a car phone. And I had to, for that, I had to drag that monster into the restaurant while the, the big shot was uh, having his, uh, his, uh, his big lunch and then everybody in the restaurant had to hear that he had a car phone because nobody nobody owned one so that was my my first student job my introduction to cell phone or to mobile telephony um later on it got modern um this is a motorola cellular portable telephone this was the size of a liter package of milk uh or or any other drink uh and and this is what it looked like and i'm from those days folks <laughs> this is what i felt was modern um then um, it also made me realize that jobs simply disappear and it goes very quickly. The two gentlemen on the left, um, they're, they're actually from my city, Amsterdam. And what they are carrying is blocks of ice. This is the pre refrigerated days. Uh, so if you wanted to cool meat or anything else that you wanted to keep longer fresh, you had a big lump of ice in a cooling uh, cupboard. Well, the moment the first refrigerators came on the market, these gentlemen lost their job. And the gentleman on the right is a typesetter of old lead uh, type, uh, and uh, he's making a, new, a newspaper. Um, yeah, when, when, when printing came, uh, it, it went very quickly. They quickly uh, all went bankrupt or it changed. So, um, yeah, I have a little, uh, I don't know if you can see, if you can read that, but yeah, you can now. It's changing yeah. and it's changing fast. Um, so these jobs, they, they go like that. Um, but the cycle of which uh, things change at the moment is multiplying over every year. So your generation is gonna feel that a lot quicker than the gentleman with the, with, with the ice blocks. Um, I wanna talk about digital. Uh, we just saw the classic printing, it got killed very quickly. Um, but then we saw that the, the post offices feel the pain because email took over office communication. Mm -hmm. Then we had uh, Kodak was one of the largest companies on earth. I don't know if you know that Kodak, but you had, they sold little uh, movie uh, uh, films that you enter into a camera. Yeah. Well, uh, JPEG killed that within a couple of years. Um, then the, the music industry, they, they were very powerful. They had a lot of money. And then all of a sudden they got paralyzed because of MP3 and internet. That combo killed it. And before really, I don't know how it was with Bollywood, but Hollywood uh, severely damaged their, their income. They had to, to, to change a lot. And so it, all these things really went fast. Uh, over 10 years, the whole, the whole 
world is, is, is a professional world is looking different, the, the models of, of income, uh, but they never really touch the core operations. And that is about to change. Your generation is going to feel the, the influence of artificial intelligence, mostly that. I think robotization is not going to really hurt your kind of like MBA is not going to be uh, touched by robotization. But make no mistake, artificial intelligence is scary. Uh, I work also for in the south of India, there's some universities where they actually, a lot of students, 4,000 are studying my native language, Dutch, and also the Dutch tech system. But, you know, I'm worried for the jobs because I've seen programs or maybe I should say it's, it's, it's more software or algorithms that answer questions on health and on tax and on law. That is scary. And, and databases uh, uh, store knowledge a lot faster than the brain. And these algorithms, they can retrieve that knowledge and, and, and the, the juridical, uh, it is amazing. You don't want to study to be a doctor. I mean, MBA, good choice. You did it, you did well. Um, so I think COVID-19, Corona, it is really going to accelerate this whole replacement much faster than we ever emphasized. Um, uh, emphasized, I wanted to say. Digital is moving into the business model itself. Well, your MBA, people, the majority of you, and, and you have to realize that you need to think of like, am I replaceable by anything? Um, so, yeah, it also means that, that there will be new jobs, particularly those jobs where you need to work together with software or you need to have, you know, decision models where you include computers and you need to work on that level. So if I were you, I would choose a career path and, and no, don't just go for the job because the job is also kind of, you know, a mirror shadow. It is really going to stare you and it takes over a little bit of you are because you're being judged on, on your CV very soon to be. So I would choose very cleverly and strategically, like, am I in a, in a safe area? Now, later on, I'll, I'll show you some, 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 some checklist on, uh, is this, is this, co is this Corona proof? And is it, is it going to be taken over by, by, by algorithms? That's something you should really consider. What are my strengths, me against the computer, or me, maybe better, me with the computer. Um, a little clip, I hope you can all see it, but yes. these are uh, robots, but um, they work around the clock. Uh, and they don't, they don't take uh, big holidays where we throw uh, powder paint on each other and uh, they don't get drunk and get hangovers if you're allowed to. Um, and if we combine this with the self-driving cars, because the majority of what's happening now is, you know, you on your phone and ordering stuff uh, online, uh, and it's being brought at your doorstep. Um, this is really going to change. You don't want to be a driver five to 10 years from now. I don't know, I, I, I remember the, the traffic in Delhi, uh, so I, I'm not sure if, if, if automatic uh, automated cars are going to do the job there. <laughs> I don't want to die in a, in a, in a robot car. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to die at all anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are, these are, uh, this is about to change. Now what we see in this graph is uh, already a little bit uh, behind, of, behind us again, but we see that uh, the amount of machine, that the ratio between machine and human, it's shifting. And if this is only a period of four years, uh, this is scary because you don't, are not going to work four years. You're going to work a lot longer, I, I, I hope. Um, so uh, we will see that the blue in this graph will augment. Machine or whatever it is, is going to be more and more. So it's very important that you try to analyze, like, okay, where am I going? And you do your desk research. Am I going to an area where apparently a lot of it can be automated? Then you need to really be strategical looking in the mirror. What are my options? And what is the death zone I, I should not enter? And if you can get that job, but actually it's in one of those blue, slowly becoming more and more blue, and you are the black, I would reconsider and take option B as a job because that is an important choice you have to make now. It's not about the job, uh, it is about uh, your path. And your path sometimes also should make you pass on a seemingly nice offer, but actually not you're getting you anywhere for the f you're not future proof uh artificial intelligence what is it well i am more interested especially in the deep learning 
Um, it's a, a subsection, machine learning, uh, and then deep learning is actually, well, well um, yeah, well, maybe we can get into that. This is a clip of Google. It's already a few years old. Um, what we see is uh, a computer making a realistic telephone conversation. So uh, the Google, in this case, uh, Google computer, it's called Google Duplex. Um, and it's a, it's a technology where they've been really investing. Um, and um, he, uh, the computer talks and makes an appointment uh, yeah, for, for the boss of the computer. Let's take a, let's, uh, let's listen a bit. a real call you just heard. The amazing thing is the assistant can actually understand the nuances of conversation. We've been working on this technology for many years. Now he's been working on the technology and, and I think it's amazing and I think the woman's haircut lady had no clue that she was talking to a computer and now that gets scary because you know, you can fall in love with an algorithm uh, because they understand the nuances. I think, well, that's maybe a little bit more far-fetched because their really emotion takes place. But, you know, booking a hair, you know how much time it can be to arrange a meeting with six people and all the stupid emails that go around, I'm sorry, I can't make it. This can all be automated. Fantastic. We will gain one day a week because all the BS is out of our agenda. That is changing. So there's also advantages of this. There's also a big risk because, and they won. It can be a robot, it can be the software. So if they are also able to be a lawyer or a doctor, and they are, if you've, if you've seen uh, IBM Watson, uh, it's scary. I think your thesis can be corrected by a computer much better than by these university teachers like me. Don't say that. <laughs> but uh, this is scary. So if we can do all this stuff, then yeah, what do we need you for five years from now? Ooh, that's a toughie, is it? Um, this is from the Beijing Olympics. Uh, quite a, yeah, I, I also use this slide in China, forgive me. Uh, but Xiaomin is a, is a very famous uh, brand there. And it's a bot. What is a bot is artificial intelligence. And they can do things. They can search for you. They can do all sort of things. Also, uh, in America, the, the US, we see that more than 30% of the initial recruitment talks are actually done by bots. There's software. I'll show you a picture later. And this software is amazing because it asks you difficult questions and it tells you you have 45 seconds to answer. And they have all kind of measurement tools on the face so they can see if you know your eyes are going to this and your mouth is different you're lying the software thinks and it keeps on asking questions because it it, it knows that that there's a probability so just like any police officer it will ask you more questions to see whether you're telling the truth or not this is a computer and you're being uh, you're being uh, uh, you know selected by software i think that's scary and it's that that is the level that we are working at at the moment so um yeah it's different um this is a, a bot that would um write articles online just for on the smartphone 40 articles a day um you know the, the smartphone uh, screen size but it does two seconds after a match has ended think of that so it's a journalist now uh and that is uh yeah weird so what it also can do is that it can make, you know, 
a report, a meeting, a meeting summary uh, where you get uh, bullets of we talked about this and that because it can. It has uh, speech to text in a second, uh, much quicker than we can type. Um, but if it likes, it can translate it, computer translation to Bengali, uh, to Marathi and to Hindi in a few seconds. Uh, and that is something that you and I cannot do. We need years. Uh, and this, this quality of this work is getting better and better. So how can you beat uh, this and, and, and make use of the challenges that are ahead of us? I think that is what I would like to talk about. You know, the fourth industrial revolution is opening brilliant opportunities for us as well. And they always tell you how many jobs will, leave, will, will, will disappear. And it's always like making you scared, you know, if you don't do this, you'll get that. Uh, but they don't tell you the opportunities because they don't know the opportunities. They just know the fear. And fear is, is, is a bad advisor. I, I wouldn't do that. But I would like to help you open your eyes and, and, and your ears and your brain and, and make good choices. Um, this is uh, in China very popular. It's uh, Tao Tiao. What they do is that they, based on your, on your browsing uh, history, it will give, generate endless story feeds that they know that you will like. Uh, and it's refining your your qui your click uh, behavior, um, uh, but they make also news. They 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 also are the journalist. There's also a lot of local news that is individuals that can can upload and make money. Um, but these are new business models, and and that's the reality. And uh, as MBA students, uh, uh, graduates, you you will need to play this game. Um, Maybe not so important. Um, so if we look at the past uh, four years, we see that artificial intelligence is not actually what you would expect in the IT department, but it's the business units. That's where it's being used. And the business units is you. Um, so you need to think of, of this kind of new partners in crime that are actually uh, automate, automating the whole business. Uh, and you need to deal with that. Um, they asked uh, people uh, if they felt it was important or very important. And um, I, I was so glad to see that, uh, well, India is a number one with 76%. Uh, and and, and my, my two home countries, China and the Netherlands, are number two and three. So we're in very good company today. Uh, apparently, we seem to know and seem to care. Um, France, I'm really surprised, 49%. You've got to be kidding. So uh, yeah, don't sell all your French shares, um, but uh, still it's a lovely country. Um, I want to talk about the, yeah, the bigger thing of it, um, major transformations and price of robots are getting cheaper uh, for about 15 luck. I had to, I had to check that yesterday on, uh, on Google, what, what was luck again? But uh, so for about 15 luck you have, you know, computers and the price is getting cheaper and cheaper. And that means uh, if, if you're a decision taker and, and you look at the benefit and uh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get more of those and less people. Um, I told you now that also advising, decision-making, it can also be automated. And that's the problem because those are the management tools. Um, also as a manager, you, you get all kind of new stuff with real time uh, feedback, analytics, instead of having quarterly reviews, you can do it every hour. Uh, and, and those are the tools you're going to be using a couple of years from now. And, and you'll be judged also every hour, not once a year where you have your appraisal talk and you ask for more money. Old school, yes, but the, the companies, and, and India is rich of, of high tech companies, uh, there will be more and more. Um, also, I think, especially with uh, COVID-19, uh, you'll be, as worker, you'll be engaged in a much more flexible manner. Uh, so less traffic jams, and, and I still remember in Delhi that you can be in a car quite a bit, especially if they see a cow on the street. It, uh, we were really stuck, and I had, a, I had a room full of big shots, and I needed to do a, a big keynote, and we couldn't get through. So in the end, I walked. I think that will get less and less, we hope, um, because remote staffing now is a possibility. Also, what I see here in this country is a lot of those work offices where you can just rent a desk some of them are actually for free uh, and their business model is just selling fruit juices and, and cappuccino and, and matcha teas uh, and that's where they get the money from and they have whole network systems and they're very successful and when i saw it at the beginning at train stations there are these 
big places with rooms that think they're gonna go bankrupt in three months. I was wrong, it's a big hit. And people are sitting like on a bus station next to each other, uh, but they seem to like it. They bring the laptop, they get their cappuccino and they work from there. And it's very active places. So this kind of bubbles buzz is, is going to be there more and maybe you as well. Um, I think uh, high-speed mobile internet will do the rest. So we'll see a different reality, your reality soon. Um, this is the higher view video interview software I told you about. And actually uh, uh, on, the, on the face of uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, person, we'll see that there are muscle and eyes and smile. It's checking it and everything they know about nonverbal communication has been automated and it's a bit scary. Um, so you get uh, a certain amount to answer these questions and this is how the first selection processes will take place because it saves. You don't need to travel to go. America is a big country like India and you don't want to fly all the way for a 45 minutes talk and hit to hear that you're not selected. So the, the, the first two rounds, the paper rounds are actually now done. This is legally a bit shady area but i've understood that more than 30 percent now uh, is being especially by, by larger corporations in in the us and also in western europe we see that this is how it's done and i'm not sure if you're prepared for that i don't know if if that's on the websites we've given you all the tips so yeah what's important that you really prepare and that you uh, do this uh, again and again and they're not interested in the automated social desirable answers it's also about you uh, but you can um, practice uh, uh, how to 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 be selected in this um so the changes oh, that we will sorry it uh, it makes noise um, what we see is that that there are enormous changes ahead of us and a lot of the textbooks that you use are all old school and the left side. And I think that is not three years from now, it will be so different. Uh, if you work in an environment that, that is really like data driven uh, and there will be more and more, it will be multi-directional and it's much more on empowerment. And, and in my perception, India s still is rather hierarchical um, uh, and, and not in a negative way, but, but it is the way um, that you are brought up. And, and um, you have to take much more ownership, I think, uh, in, in the new world, uh, because you are uh, managing a smaller, yeah, it's, it's more about empowerment. And that is not always where you have the experience in academia. Um, and then you're thrown, especially if you work for, for Western uh, companies, this is going to be asked of you. Also, it's like I said, it's continuous, it's team centric, it's multi-directional, so change. Uh, and this is why the skills are becoming more and more important. So we see a shift towards social skills and hybrid jobs, particularly the hybrid jobs I want to emphasize, because change is going to be much more part of your life than it was of mine. Uh, and, and, and for that, you need a certain kind of yeah, a, a, a basic position like in judo or karate where you stand solid on, on two legs and you're flexible. And this pivotal approach will surely help those of you that, that develop that part. Um, here we can see the share of jobs uh, in a period of over, well, uh, 30, 32 years. And we see that the ones with, with the, the social skills are the ones that are going up. Uh, and they grew in those 22 years, uh, 32 years. So uh, this is already eight years old, uh, or with the data, maybe seven. So uh, my prediction is, is that social skill, yes, but now also we get much more the, the, the digital skills that are necessary, the, 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 the working long distance, the, the COVID-19 influence. So that's another uh, accelerated uh, accelerator of, of uh, where the growth is it means that your social skills are, are vital and those are things that you can practice there are plenty of, uh, of uh, ways to to improve yourself there uh, and all the math skills and all the other ones are a lot less important why do skills matter so much this is in the US uh, again a long period and we see that the service jobs are continuously growing. Now, 
India is still uh, the graphs are, are part of the society is still very agricultural, but that's that's a countryside. But you as city dwellers, you you are in the blue line very very much. Um, so uh, yeah, those jobs, especially if you go international to 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 the Western societies, uh, it is only about service. And nowadays it's also cross border. Um, so that asks a lot from you and skills are vital in this um, so the world of jobs is changing um, and the change is happening a lot faster than we ever thought uh, especially technology I talked a lot of a lot about it but the skill gaps uh, are now going to show at the workplace um, so your interpersonal skills is where you can make the difference if you are job hunting now and you will be soon um, it depends on if you're meeting old school, typical HR with the CV and job interview skills, or if you have the ones that are going for the interpersonal skills. My advice to you is focus on that part, the professional experience you need to develop. Um, but things like, yeah, like their uh, agile, agile business cultures is where it's going. Um, so we see that there are some urgent skills that we really need, where fundamental skills and the cutting edge skills. And this depends on the field where you're going. I just have a print screen of, of, of some area which is a little bit more in the, in the computer field. But you have to map for yourself the companies that you are interested in or that seem to be interested in you. Uh, you have to analyze it and you have to, yeah, you put it against the light and think, what are the urgent skills at the moment? What are the fundamental skills? And what are the cutting edge skills? And if you don't know, you ask people, or you, you Google it, and you need to invest in that because that is also what they will be checking if you have, I think. Uh, and I checked a lot on, on uh, the, the websites that, that, uh, that offer all this, uh, this, um, uh, this placement readiness and so on. And this part I'm missing, the, the real analysis of what does it mean, this job? What does it mean now? What does it mean five years from now with the fourth industrial revolution and the replacement by, by artificial intelligence, deep learning, those kind of things. So ask yourself that you can just do, make a little SWOT analysis maybe, uh, but please, how about, you know, fundamental skills is what you, what they taught you at school and, and the basics that the, 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 the big Indian websites will tell you, but where are the urgent skills from the COVID-19 uh, scenario and what are the really hot skills? And, and there are some, there are some different ones. Um, okay. Uh, LinkedIn. I don't know. Everybody is on LinkedIn, or you use it. You're using it. It's an enormous platform, biggest in the world, and 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 they see they see all the CVs and they see what HR is doing. HR is paying a lot for this professional uh, subscription services, so they exactly know. And every year they do the the top ten most in demand hard skills. This is global, but you I'm sure you can also find it for India. And it's, it's just big data. It's not that, it's not that much big of a deal, uh, 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 difficult for them to, to discover because it's, it's big data they have. At the moment it's blockchain, but that also will change again very soon. Uh, but the only one I see in this is, is sales. That's the only hard skill that they taught you in your, in your, in your uh, campus, your academic uh, experience, right? That's on your CV. So what about the other nine? What are you gonna do about your video production skills? your cloud computing, well, maybe that you have. Top five soft skills, creativity, persuasion, collaboration, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, three years ago, that was number one, because they said, well, computers don't know emotion. Well, we heard from the hair salon experiment that it's starting to get there. So check it, what are the top skills? And it's moving every year. And that's why I mean that it's lifelong learning. Now you need to, for your future employability, you need to, continuously uh, uh, you know you have growth drive there are all these uh, market uh, market initiatives for, for a few dollars or rupees you can uh, upskill yourself uh, at home on your phone wherever you are um, future of job survey two years old world economic forum but it is interesting because we can see what well they call 2018 today but for some of it it might still be valid but you can find this with three clicks on the internet we see what's trending, but most important, what is old stuff? And that's the declining one, the one on the right. Uh, and there we can see, okay, if this is what my job entails, it's the wrong job. This is where your thermometer needs to uh, 
uh, your alarm bells need to ring off like hey, wait I'm, I'm this is not gonna give this this job is not future proof you know what i will not take it i will take the shady job in uh, kolkata because actually that makes me future proof so include that in your decision in your your swot analysis of, of your opportunities on the market um i want to talk about something that i feel is really a game changer and that's aq uh, you heard of iq intelligence eq emotional cq which is my real field is intercultural or cross-cultural but now it's also about aq and the people that i talk in the, the marketplace they all talk about flexibility people in the government the the the, the meetings i have because i'm also a consultant um hr is looking for people that are ready and able to evolve no matter what the conditions are and so it's about flexibility so so what are your flexible skills and do you recognize in the job interview any related questions because that is what for them is really if the, if they're they're up to date with the knowledge of hr this is what matters um, i want to share this uh, fascinating book that really uh, yeah, gave me new insights that I, I thought like, okay, wow. It's called 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. It is, I guess, about 21st century skills. Uh, it's an Israeli professor, uh, Juval Nova uh, Harari. Um, and you can buy the Indian uh, version of the book um, that is uh, a better price. <laughs> mm -hmm. I realized that buying uh, books in India is faster than Amazon. And it's much friendlier. Uh, I get all kind of really polite emails. The packaging is better and it's quicker. And I pay one tenth of, uh, of, of if I buy it in the UK or Germany. So I'm, I'm now for India. Uh, although sometimes I feel they print it on toilet paper. But, uh, but then if I look at the price, the speed and the friendly e the, the, the mails you get, I think, wow, so sweet. Uh, so uh, I'm now a, a fan of buying in India. Um, and I checked with Gujarati and Hindi, uh, but they're not available next year. It says available from 2020, 2021, uh, so buy the English version. But this really changed my mind. Because what, what Harari, Professor Harari is saying is, says, you know, don't study uh, blockchain, don't study Chinese. And I'm actually studying Chinese. Um, he says the most uh, the valuable investment you have is, is to be flexible, to be pivotal, to be like a basketball player, you know. Or, or an Indian dancer, you know, tuck, 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 Bollywood. That's what's going to get you there. Yeah. Uh, I, that, that's, that's what really, this was for me a very influential book. I thought, wow, I never thought like that. And, and it's changing me. And I hope I can sparkle you with that a little bit as well. Um, isn't it a risk if you're listening to a Dutch guy talking and giving advice to 95% uh, of Indians? Yes, it is. It's a big risk. Uh, and I know from experience, although I know your country, I know the region a lot. Uh, I'm working, as I told you, a lot for the enemy. Uh, at least two times a year, I'm in India, but now with COVID, uh, I'm not in India, I'm in Pakistan. Uh, but uh, yeah, forgive me. Uh, it, it, but it, for me, it's 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 very similar. It, it, that's also what 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 makes it easier for me. Um, this is uh, stuff that I share with my students and say, you know, a French CV is really different from an Indian CV or from an American CV or a Dutch CV. They are completely different. And uh, I don't know if you know the books of Professor Hofstede. Uh, the, the, he did this model about uh, measuring culture. He didn't get a job, although he was really the most qualified person, I would say, for an American company in Belgium, and he's still sour about it. Um, but the reason is, is that in my culture, we're a little bit more shy uh, and, and, uh, and we don't like to show off that much in letters or in CVs. So he wrote it in English, but with a Dutch mindset. So he didn't get the job and he was clearly the most qualified one. And he's still angry about it, but I say it's culture. Uh, but also I say it's preparation. And what I tell my students is those who fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that also uh, should sound and resound in your mind tonight when you hit the sheets, uh, because uh, it's about what you do before. Uh, it's the, the preparation and the perspiration in the process that will make you win. Now, in, in France, uh, CVs are completely different. Um, and so it is in India. And uh, so if you want to apply for foreign jobs, you have to play the game. And this I often see go wrong. Um, we did a, uh, I did work on this. I did with my uh, group of academics. We wrote three books. And it's called, it's a series. Uh, they're, they're just on Google. And I think... You probably will be able to find them uh, for free on the internet and otherwise please ask uh, 
Uh, I, I can share it maybe for the website of Ingenious uh, Faces. I'd be happy to. Uh, yeah. There are three, uh, yeah. three books. Uh, um, they're, they're, they're written also by students, so beware. Uh, but what they had to do is find respondents and interview HR professionals in local countries. And they're only allowed to use local uh, literature. Uh, and what we've done is that we just compare the world. And we ask, okay, how do you get a job? What is the perfect CV? And I got shocked because it's so different. And with the strategy that you would, if you follow all the advice from all the brilliant placement uh, readiness websites that you have in India, you're going to fail so hard if you try to get a job in Germany or Canada or Australia. Um, and this is really a different game. So like I just said, those who fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that's the risk by listening to me um, uh, as a Dutchman to talk about the Indian work placement uh, and, 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 and the skills uh, market. On the other hand, I talk about the future. I talk about strategy. So in that sense, that sense it's, it's, it's safe to listen to me about the future-proof element of it. But be careful if you're trying to get jobs with foreigners or foreign companies or operations in India with a majority of expats, you have to also be able to stand on a second leg. Uh, and that second leg would be the cultural, diverse, and you need multi-stability, as we call it in psychology. Um, I'd love to talk with uh, engineering spaces another time about it. That's my, my, real, my, 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 my real field is the, yeah, the, the, the globalization and the mindset preparation that you need, but also the predictability of people in other cultures. And if we can predict, we can manage it. And if you're an mba -er, you like the word manage. Uh, but if you can manage it, you can also prepare it. So those are important elements. Um, we need to talk a little bit about, we need to touch upon the low touch economy, the post COVID-19 or we're in the middle of it, especially in India, the rates are scary at the moment. Um, so you need to think about that. Let's do it from um, uh, yeah, the perspective of uh, human contact is minimized. Um, this is a trend and I think it's irreversibly. I, I don't think, I think some parts are gonna change. Let's hope so for the religious people, inshallah, because I'm getting sick of the webcam, but that's at the moment the reality and some of it will stay. Uh, the reports I see from, from Gardner, McKinsey, they, they're saying, well, at least for 30, 40% will continue this way. The majority of the workforce is transitioned to home working. In my country, it's very uh, effective because we have high speed uh, internet everywhere. So yeah, almost everybody is just continuing to work from home. Mm -hmm. Cloud computing, infrastructure skills now is key and that's what they are going to select you on the questions they all companies now they have a problem and they would like you to jump in with your computing your cloud skills so that's one of your strong cards uh, i don't want to use the word trump cards but you know what i mean um, uh, also from gardner from last year we know that worldwide cloud revenue is, is growing really fast this will only get more because there is no other choice we need to work with these silly webcams. Um, so you will need to learn to be effective in a distributed way, be digital from home or from Starbucks or from wherever you can be with bandwidth and, and uh, a webcam. Um, I, I think it's disruptive, but I also think it's a game changer and you are going to play this dreadful, boring game of sitting with a keyboard and, and, and some, some camera. Um, I think what is interesting for you to, to, to dive into is uh, a gentleman called Matt Mullenweg, uh, and he has identified the five levels uh, of being effective working remotely. But what is interesting, he's the founder of WordPress. And WordPress is a very, very effective system that has been able to you know, experiment and bump their head on a daily basis. Um, but they managed, and they found ways to work in a distributed way together and these are the five skills uh, levels of, of successfully working remotely i'm not going to read out loud you're going to be bored to death by me um, mm -hmm. so uh, matt mullenweg you can make a print screen or look back the recorded uh, video later on on the website um, but it's uh, that is that is the trick so let's look at the successful ones the, the googles the netflixes they they've done it they work with people all over the world. You have some fantastic uh, digital uh, powerhouses in India. Check with them. They have plenty of stuff online. 
Um, I like the scorecard that the uh, Board of Innovation has made. I recommend you to check out the Board of Innovation. Um, uh, to my surprise, they're from, from Amsterdam. I, I, I said it was British, but uh, or maybe they are, but uh, they're also here. But they have all kinds of tools about uh, uh, your readiness for the, t the low touch economy. And you can, you can make a print screen or pause the video here and uh, just check how, how low touch ready am I? This is, this is crucial now. Some of the questions that the organization at the moment have is like, can you help solve us this stuff? And, and yeah, if you prepare, you, you can bluff your way through and get that wonderful job. Um, some more uh, physical distances, uh, distancing uh, uh, and business. Uh, we see that there's areas and again, maybe, you know, check it out online or I just want to give you the hint uh, on, the, on the roadmap and in your journey. Um, but there are areas where there's a high need for physical distancing, but there's a low ability. Uh, and, and that is also what you need to, you know, ask in, in, your own, uh, in your own SWOT analysis, can I work here? Can I work here three years from now with the, uh, with the, the, the artificial intelligence, with the deep learning and the machine learning, uh, uh, you know, changes that are going to happen in the workplace? And what about physical distancing? Is that part of it? And, and that will make you uh, feel more secure in the choices that you're going to make. You, you also, you, you shouldn't be a beggar for a job. You also have to have your own thermometer. And, and it's often in life, it's important that you know when to say yes, but what we often forget is when to say no. Uh, and these are vital uh, skills also. Any poker player can tell you that. Uh, but I would, I would say, uh, yeah, uh, you know, what is the, when should you walk away from the table? Like in negotiation skills, you have that, you know, you know, have to know where, where is the area where you say, okay, here I don't. And sometimes you're, you're so much into, into getting the deal done that you forget yourself. So part of job hunting is also knowing what is the minimum that I need to get out of it. It's not only about money, by the way. Please don't make that mistake because that's the, the carrot they will give you. Uh, but there's a lot more than just money. Uh, and, and actually, if we look at uh, people that are working now and we ask them like, what is it you want from a job to be perfect? It's very different things. Money is number four. It's a lot more about the freedom that you enjoy, about making your own decisions and setting your own path. So, so be, 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 uh, be a bit cynical about all the wonderful offers. Um, what else? Uh, vulnerability of jobs. And uh, yeah, this is a, a terrible JPEG, but I wanted to have the rupee behind it. Um, what, uh, what you see is that uh, yeah, uh, maybe as to, 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 to ease your mind, uh, the, the higher educated and the, the, the bigger earning seem to be less uh, touched upon by the low touch uh, uh, needs of the, the, the post COVID-19. So in that sense, it's not that bad. But then again, with machine learning, there's plenty. And actually that is attacking the business model and the core uh, activities that we really see are actually what an MBA student studies. So there is, there is, uh, there in the SWOT, there is some threat. Um, but uh, Rashmita, Tanme, and Sujan got jobs. Now it's your turn. Uh, so yeah, there, there is, uh, there are opportunities as well. Um, what can universities do? Uh, the classic stuff. Uh, the problem is, is that that markets move faster than curricula. And I, I, I feel, although I told you in the beginning, I, I, the, the good universities in India you're doing a pretty good job. And, and also, if I look at the, the, the scores of employability, it's growing. Well, you seem to be one of the few countries. UK is also doing not bad. My own country is not doing that bad. But in general, yeah, there is skill gap. And, 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 and that is what I see. And so do the employers. So what can you do in this short period that you still have to also take that into account? And not only the stupid checklist and top five tip list that you see online, because that's looking in the back mirror. Please look ahead on the road and don't crash your car. Um, just a little extra. Um, this is uh, a bot. This is software. And uh, at the moment, uh, the mouse, uh, yeah, you can take a look again, but the mouse looks dreadful. So the lips, especially at the end, the lips are really bad. But they'll improve it, you know. This is version 2.0. Uh, 
but this is a, a, a model after this is a real news uh, a news journalist in uh, in uh, in China, uh, and they modeled the the software after her. Uh, but the thing is, is that all they need to do is type the text in. But earlier on, I showed you also that they have software journalists that are writing these texts. So what is my job in the future as a lecturer? It could be that lady or it could be anybody. Now, what can you do? Uh, because that's, that's my threat, but I'm an old man. Um, I think what you need to do is, is develop awareness about what, what do employers expect? What are they looking for at the moment? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself and that you need to mirror. And not only the top five and the tip five and I don't know what. Um, personal attributes, uh, uh, create evidence, examples. Because uh, usually the question is, uh, uh, how come? And then you need to talk. You can say, well, I'm really good at this. But then they, they will ask you, well, well, how can, uh, from what does it show that you know that? Can you give an example? And then you need to have, you know, not just fill, fill the air with words, but have demonstration of, of your your readiness and your quality. Invest, uh, always invest in new skills. Uh, it will really pay off once you enter the job market, but the job market of tomorrow is a continuous one. Lifelong learning. Um, I saw this on, a, on, a, on some uh, university. I think most of you probably will recognize uh, the locos. Uh, I like the, the slogan though, enter to learn, leave to succeed, great. Don't settle for a job, but plan for a career. I hope I was able to, to, to give you uh, some pointers like, please look further. Don't just go for the first silly job because it's just a job. You know, money will come plenty. That's why you went to such prestigious school. So, so choose well. It's also a bit like a marriage, you know. Don't take the, uh, you know. So um, this was the slogan that uh, FIIB uh, showed you. This is mine. The learning curve is the earning curve. Uh, so uh, yeah, think about that too. Keep on learning. Um, it's, I um, oh, can't read these little letters. Yeah, I would like to conclude by, um, by, by, uh, by thanking uh, uh, Pragia and Rushali um, Nakita for the pleasing way in, the, in which you organized the, the event. I want to thank uh, Ingenious Faces another time for ensuring such high level participation. And I'm going to try Hindi. Don't laugh. Tanjevat. That's the best that I can do. Um, is it easy? No, it's not. It's, it's dreadful. You have to do this all by yourself. And there's no one. There's no one with you but you. And you have to drag all the asphalt through the beautiful nature. And you're destroying nature and your life in the process. But hey, you're out there. You can hear the birds whistle. Uh, there's nice trees around you. Look around you and what you're laying is a high a highway on which you can speed with the nice car you're gonna buy from the first money you're gonna make. So I really wish you great fortune in the difficult uh, weeks and months to come. And the real problem starts when you sign the contract. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good luck with that. And uh, I thank you for your attention so far. And now I, I think I leave the floor to you for the Q&A session or other elements. Yeah. But uh, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you for such an insightful session. And uh, now we can take up some questions from the students. Yeah. So anyone has any questions? Big silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, uh, Sandy, it was a really eye-opening session. So thank you so much for this. Yeah. Now, if there are questions, you can always email or I'll try to share some materials later on about, uh, no, yeah, for instance, about if you have to make a, a video interview, what to, the, what to take care of and these sort of things. But uh, now I wish you good yeah. luck. I, I, I wish to, we wouldn't have to meet on, uh, on uh, these tiny screens uh, in, in some office chair, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> for to be in India, but maybe in the future. I wish you the yeah. best of luck and thank you for uh, sharing your time with me. Thank you. Uh, Sandra, can I ask you a question, if you don't mind? Yes, please. Yes. So I think most of these students are, you know, going through a placement process. They will be going through in like the next three, four months. So as we are, everything is connected on cameras, you know, everything yeah. is virtual. So any tip on how to go about you know, uh, group discussions or interviews 
anything specific that they can take care of? Now, in a group dis discussion, um, okay, if, if you don't talk, you're, you're not there. Uh, so that is a difficulty. But to, to just yell is also irritating. So to make noise uh, without uh, actually saying something uh, is not good. Um, but these are elements that you can prepare in a modular way. So you can expect either you take something really generalistic that sounds very wise or clever, but not too fake. Um, not like uh, not like the Oscar ceremony in Hollywood, but mm -hmm. uh, make it make it human. Make it uh, make it. Uh, you don't need to lecture. They're not looking for a lecturer. They're looking for new colleagues that have quality. So it could be a really interesting question that you ask, uh, in which you display some of the knowledge. Uh, but you have to do desk research. If you go for the improvisation, it's not a bar. You know, it's a, it's a recruitment. Uh, it's not a party. You're there, you're being assessed. Um, so there's a couple of measurements that people will assess you by. Mm -hmm. um, and also, are you a nice person to work with? Uh, that is also what they are looking with. You don't need to be nice. It is in a nice in a professional way. Uh, you don't need to be very humble and overly polite. You need to be a realistic businesswoman or businessman. Um, yeah. So I would suggest, uh, you know, you can always sleep on your dad. So, so... Uh, yeah, work. Uh, the PowerPoint presentation I made very early uh, uh, this morning uh, and I wanted to do much better. And if you join me for the globalization uh, web lecture, you'll see an amazing one. Uh, but now I had to make it. I think I worked until three o'clock at night because uh, the Chinese took me until 11. <laughs> and I wanted to start working on this one for last Sunday. But there was an emergency in China uh, nonstop. Uh, so uh, yeah, then uh, what do you do? Uh, the, the, they're the boss also. So I thought, okay, sorry, engineers faces. It will be plan B. Uh, so I don't sleep, and I would suggest you do the same. Um, so that's one part. And then for um, yeah, for video, um, why don't you look at some stuff on YouTube or any other channel where you think, wow, this really looks great, and then you analyze. You just make a print screen or you pause it, and you think like, okay, what does it look like? What is he wearing? What does she do? What is the light? At the moment, I, I have uh, a video light here. Um, I have uh, this camera, uh, this uh, this microphone, so a USB. Uh, you also have them for, for a few rupees. You don't need to buy the best one, but you can check with others. What does it sound like? And if you have a really tiny webcam on your, on your laptop, uh, then maybe please use your phone if that is a better quality. So be critical and ask some of your peers, what do you think? Uh, which color uh, um, stands out? Um, all of you now are with black screens. I don't know if you're watching Netflix or, 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 or a cricket game, uh, oh. or if you're not even there. Um, so, so what would be your choice? Some of you have beautiful pictures. You look so elegant. Um, others are there live. Uh, I don't know what, what the policy is, but you can check what the others are doing. But if you want to be seen, um, that's something you can prepare and you can be critical in the way so light and sound that's usually what sucks in most videos uh, and that is a competitive advantage against others so what is your background at the moment yeah don't laugh but it is a mess <laughs> it's an academic yeah. room um, so i didn't like it so i asked i said i need a curtain uh, and here i have a green screen right there so that i can do other thingies uh, I have a video yeah. light there, I have a video light there, and I just screwed it to the, to the ceiling. So you need to think a little bit about the technicalities and how does it work. Um, then I would prepare in a modular way, just like on the chessboard. You, you need to choose, like, you don't know, you need to react uh, about the course of the conversation of the questions that you're getting. But you can predict at least five of them. Um, so if you have tiny little phrases that sound really good and sharp, mm -hmm that's going to make you sound interesting or, or supportive or helpful or, and what are they looking for? Not for the biggest shouter. So it <laughs> uh, depends on the job. Sometimes you need a big shouter, but the majority not. So, so you can analyze what, you know, what, what will it be that I'm going to be assessed on? And then they just need like fishermen. They need to get in a couple and then they see which one they throw back to the sea, which one they will bring to the market. And, and, and yeah. That is the analysis you need to make beforehand. You can't just go in and improvise. That is never the, the, the right, uh, it's never gonna work. Yeah. So yeah, prepare. Thank you for answering this. <laughs>
थैंक यू सो मच अच्छा Uh, I'm an assistant professor with FIIB. I'm sorry I was not able to join in earlier, uh, but when I joined in, you were talking about agile culture, and I come from a background of HR and OB myself. Yeah. So that got me into it, right? So I just wanted to know, you know, looking at it from the student perspective, we talk about agility. We talk about a VUCA environment these days, right? But students may not be able to make sense of it much, right? But uh, they look at it from the perspective that how are they going to fill into it how are they going to adapt to it right yeah. so um, anything in particular any kind of a skill that they should be building upon or uh, should be loading up in their resumes so that or, or maybe in a behavior you know when because when you walk into an interview your behavior is going to be judged upon and it's going to be measured at every aspect of it and even while they're making their videos these small aspects are going to be looked upon and 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 a direct question like this like um, because of this uncertainty in the environment do you think you'll be able to cope with it do you think that what are your tools to cope with that right what could be a you know i would not say the best of the answers but how do you cope with a question like that um the problem is is that they have been in big rooms with hundreds of students and it's a monologue it's a monologue uh, and, and and somebody is reading out the powerpoint um and they don't ask questions there there is not a lot of uh, uh you know leadership uh, uh empowerment uh responsible response ownership taking um team skills uh, especially now virtual team skills so what you could do is then maybe uh, uh if you if you add it to your cv it's just words and uh it's just a very the, of course there's only one first impression but I, yeah i think that will be the the cv i suppose uh but there's so many tip sheets on how to do it and this uh, online for a few for a few rupees somebody can write your cv and make it like a christmas tree and shine so so i as a, in hr i wouldn't believe that too much of course you have to take it into account and maybe if we're really interested in a person we're going to check a little bit what the cv is but um, for me the meeting or or the video would really be about the 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 human side of the person and also to see if it fits in with with the team if the ambitions if if they prepared and everything but the the new skills that are ahead of us are different um and and uh we need to find uh yeah and depends on if if the recruiters are old school and if they're still going for like your, your motivational this and what do you know about the company yeah then go for that and the internet is full of that part but what i wanted to do in in my in my lecture is much more now the talk i did is to talk about like what is ahead of us because i think the choices you make now are not so much on getting that first job but it's much more like the bigger picture of where society is going and and make no mistake india is one of of uh, the big uh, the big changers as well because a lot of uh, uh, global headquarters of the big uh, uh, it industry are now placed in india uh, uh, and and the, the majority uh, look at at google look at at microsoft a lot of people have uh, a south indian uh, south asian background and that's only going to multiply because i was talking to uh, it's a dutch guy because uh, i'm from the netherlands uh, and he was the ceo of uh, uh uh what's the what's the name of the company that they 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 everywhere in the networking and they do all kind of tools and I said yeah you're there because it's cheap and i said really that's what you think you don't understand anything uh, the the reason why we're here is that we have uh, a much higher amount of of uh, phd's and 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 available uh, hr the, the 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 graduates are trained on a high level they all speak brilliant english better than me Uh, and and we're four hours flying away from a custo- from our a real new market, uh, emerging market customers. And I never looked at it from that perspective. So things are moving, and there's plenty of companies here in the West, in my country, uh, big uh, computer firms that uh, initially started to outsource stuff to India. <laughs> Now they've been bought up. You guys take over. And for me, it was such a a surprise to see that I was uh, I was walking in the street in an area where a lot of expats are living. I was looking in the window shop of a liquor store and there were big bottles of amrut and i was like why would that be you know because I, i i i visited the area and i was uh, i i loved shimla but then i was thinking like why in amstelveen do they sell amrut and then i think actually because the number one 
expert living here at the moment and you know making very nice salaries are from India. <laughs> They're taking over. So that is a reality uh, of, 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 of things. Um, so uh, yeah, so I, I think in, in, if you have the opportunity, look ahead, look ahead of what's changing in society. And the changes that during my, my little talk now I, I indicated are disruptive in many, many ways. And I think that is the question also that, that you should ask uh, yourself. Am I, am I future proof? And those are the skills I would select and invest on. So the ones that are really dealing with, with where we're going with the higher level of, of human being replaced by machines or algorithms or, or software or robots, that's one part, working together. The, 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 the digital, uh, we are going to work much more uh, yeah, away from each other on, 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 on area. And also I think that the, the system is going to be much more, it's not anymore the, the, the old hierarchy it is about what you deliver and it's continuous assessment. Um, the tools, the management tools that we see now, especially relevant for, since we have so many MBA students, uh, that, that is a new way of leading. Your leadership is going to be uh, yeah, much more the way around and how you collaborate with, with those algorithms and the big data and that sort of thing. I think those are the winners. If we look at what, what, is really, what really shocked me is that if they sell companies now uh, for a lot of money, yeah, and then if you make, if you make the, 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 the calculation, then you think, okay, so how much did they sell it for? Well, so many billion, uh, like, like for instance, Instagram or so. And then you check how many collaborators did that company have when they sold it? And then it's, it's staggering amounts. It's like billions per head of that company working for it. And in the past, companies like Kodak, which don't exist anymore, but they were giants or IBM or, uh, and, and then it would be a few millions Per, per head of per capita, but now it's billions. So what we see is this exponential growth of these companies, the, the real powerhouses now, they hardly have any people. And here comes the news, they will have less people in the future. They are looking for replacing us. So what can you do as a human being? Yeah, join, join the devil, uh, or at least know how to uh, work with the devil or find an area or a little island where the devil doesn't come. So that would be my advice. So those are the skills you need uh, because that's, that's about to happen. I don't think it's a threat. I think it's a fantastic opportunity and you need to embrace that. So I would say if you're going to do stuff, don't look in the back mirror. Look at someone coming at us at incredible speed. Sorry, but it's going to, you, you remember three years from now, hey, that's the guy at the ingenious phases told me, but it's happening so much faster than you think. Uh, and that's, uh, that's fascinating. We do it in a global environment. You, are working everywhere so uh, yeah I, I i'm positive <laughs> i'm a happy person uh, but also continuously learning and i would yeah adaptability flexibility uh, team skills uh, uh, working at distance uh, working over time zones the cultural agility uh, multi-stability um, yeah so it's a changing environment um, and the textbooks that you read are great and still valid for some part but they need to be written very soon. And if you are ahead of that wave, you're a winner and you will be rewarded. And I told you the, the, the earning is in the learning. Uh, it's, it's not always as flat as money. I think happiness is bigger than money, uh, but, uh, but still, it's always nice to, to, to earn a bit for what you do. Yeah. Sorry to end about money. Yeah. <laughs> and that totally makes sense. Thank you so much, Sandra, for answering it so beautifully. And uh, thank you for joining us today of uh, this Career Cafe session and hope to meet you soon, virtually or physically, or preferably physically, or sometime maybe whenever you visit India. Uh, yeah, I was yes. supposed to go actually next week, but it's been cancelled because of uh, oh, okay. reasons. So it's uh, uh, yeah. in, um, in August, I had to be in um, Murray. It's a hill station close to Islamabad, but that's also cancelled. Ah, oh, okay. Days. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all our travel plans are now devastated. But yeah, <laughs> nothing can be done right now. But thank you so much for joining in. And thank you, everyone, for joining in. Uh, have a great day and please stay safe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.